So you open up Night Cafe, and there's a prompt box, a bunch of bottles, and you're kind of just sitting there thinking, okay, what now? Don't worry, I've been there with you, and I'm gonna walk you through how I would use Night Cafe if I were a brand new user in 2025. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna start with the prompt. That's just a description that we type to the AI so it knows what we want to create. You can type something in like a glowing forest with floating orbs. Don't overthink it, be visual, be clear, and really that's enough to start with. Here are some rapid fire prompt writing tips just because I know when I was first getting started, I had no idea what prompt writing even meant or how to put one together. Huh? First, we're gonna want to be visual and not vague. This means don't just type cool landscape. Instead, be specific, be intentional with your words, and really paint a picture with the words that you type. Honestly, I think this is one of the hardest parts because if you wanna stand out in a sea of AI art, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you implement yourself in the prompt. So whatever your personality is, if you like skating, um, implement like streetwear, kind of more grungy look, things like that just to add in a little bit more personality so it feels a lot more like you. Second, try adding a style. You can do something like oil painting, watercolor, mixed media. Camera angles also make a difference. So things like fisheye, wide angle. Modifiers have a huge impact on how the AI interprets the vibe, overall composition, and look that you want it to create. So they're kind of a big deal. Also, don't be afraid to use someone else's prompt that you might see in the explore page, which is something that I will go into a little bit more later on in the video. Great, now that we're all through modifiers, we're gonna talk about models. Models, models, models. We have a lot of those on Night Cafe. You can choose your standard SDXL models. We have Dolly 2, Dolly 3. We also have Flux models, as well as the GPT-3 models, which is the same model that they run through ChatGPT. Long story short, Night Cafe has a lot of models to choose from. If you are on the free plan, you still have so many options. Things like SDXL checkpoint models, Flux Chanel, and other older Stable Diffusion 1.4 and 1.5 models. So you can make what we call base creations with those, which are free and unlimited. Something we all like. If you want higher runtime, higher resolution, then that's where credits come in. Since we're beginners here, we're not gonna mess with those. For now, just hit create when you're ready. Wow! The credit system on Night Cafe. Night Cafe runs on a credit system. These credits are how you pay to create the art. The number of credits you're spending depends on what model you're using and how much computation power it is using to generate the image you want. Credits you can earn every single day by participating in the community, by liking other people's images, commenting, and just overall creating and being part of the ecosystem we've built. If you ever need more credits, you can upgrade to Pro or buy a credit pack. All the info is on our pricing page linked below. There's actually a new really cool rewarding system that we're testing out, which randomizes how many credits you get every single day. I actually the other day got the rare, I'll put it up on screen here, but I thought it was super cool. As an employee of the company, I still get excited when I see those credits pop up or when I see a rare badge or something like that hit my notification box. In order to get the free credits, you will have to create first. Your first creation of the day is free on us, up to eight credits. If you're not sure what to create for the first time, there also are prompt suggestions by Vincent. And these are AI generated prompts based off of what you're creating already. The My Creations tab, this is always fun. This is where you see all of your art. Everything that you create gets sent here. Even images that get aired out will show up here too. You can click into any image to evolve it, use the prompt again, upscale, publish, download, and so much more. The Creator Studio is basically your creative hub where everything gets created, saved, and where you can view your gallery. Now the Explore tab, this is what I think Night Cafe does best community. This is where you can explore the hottest pictures, people that you follow, what they're posting. You can also explore top images from the past day, past week, past month, past year. It is so cool. You can even see of all time, which is very fun because you can go back in time and see what was popping off on Night Cafe years ago. If you're looking for inspiration, this is the place to go. There are even filters for settings open, which means that the prompts for said images will be open and you'll be able to use them, evolve them, save them if you like. So all you do is tap on an image and scroll down a little bit to see the settings for the image. You can see the full prompt, what model they used, what settings they used, everything. That is if they choose to leave it open because some people do hide those things. It's a personal preference really. If you want a little bit more inspiration or structure to the way you create, challenges are a great place to start. There are two types of challenges right now, actually 
three types of challenges right now on Night Cafe. There are daily challenges, community challenges, and quests. Daily challenges and quests at the time of posting this are ran by Night Cafe staff, but community challenges can be ran by fellow creators like you and they choose their settings. They write the description, rules, requirements, and all of that. You don't have to be pro. You just have to follow the theme, do your best and have fun with it. That's pretty much all we require for challenges. All the types of challenges we have though are a great way to build a creative habit and keep yourself coming back to create fresh new images every day. If you wanna know more about the challenges that we hold on Night Cafe, all of this can be found in our blog. I'll link everything below. If you ever get stuck or need help, we have chats for that. So we have a really helpful on-site chat. So we have community support. There's also the daily challenge chat or just general chat. There's also a beginner's helps and tricks chat. So lots of on-site chats to choose from. There's also our Facebook group and our Discord server. And these are all really helpful resources with really helpful people that just wanna help you. I keep saying helpful. Helpful is the word though. Without knowing how to use the tool, it's basically useless. Make sure if you're lost, if you need help to lean into those resources. You made it this far, so you're officially one of us. Drop a comment below and tell me what you're creating, or if you haven't created, tell me what you're creating first. As always, if you have questions, comments are open, and I will be happy to answer any of those for you. That's it for now. I'll see you on Night Cafe. Happy creating.